Away we go. Here is the electric Maurice French. Hogtie just shy of the 30-yard line by Jordan Mack. Second in the country at 22 yards per catch. He's got Bryce Hall defending him. Batted into the air. The Cavaliers are very good at that. That time it was Mandy Alonzo, the junior from Miami. Fair catch, Davis. And the Hoos will set up at the 24-yard line. And their all-time leading pass catcher in Olamide Zacchaeus. Perkins off the fake, finds Tanner Cowley. He's out near midfield and a first down for the Hoos. Exactly what this is. Pulls the back out of the belly, pulls the ball out of the belly of the back, and then you see the quick hands to get. Play clock at two. Perkins looking on the out route into traffic, trying to find Terrell Chapman. And there's Dane Jackson, one of the excellent corners. However, there is a penalty marker throw. A fake to Lamont Atkins. Pressure coming. Launching it for Joe Reed. And he stayed inbound somehow for the first down. Pressure immediately. And as he's trying to throw this away, I, I think he is. I think Joe Reed drags his, his toe there oh, on his right foot. What an outstanding play wow. by Joe Reed. Sam Reed, Perkins, close. The line to game was the 16-yard line. We'll have to check the spot on this. Pressure from the Panthers. Reynolds, the first man there with Keyshawn Camp. You see what's happened here. They bring a blitz. You see Reynolds coming up the middle there, really just untouched. A little bit of confusion by that. 39-yard try from Brian Delaney. Has to angle it in, going away from the open end of the stadium at Heinz Field. Pickett fires, looking for Mack. Overthrown on a shot play again. He had the safety, Brenton Nelson, which has produced a ton of NFL punters. That's blocked. Noah Taylor with the block, and Virginia recovers it. Hassis Dubois on top of the ball, and the Cavaliers set up shop deep in pit territory. You see Taylor over here. Taylor's coming off that right edge. He's 6'5". He does an outstanding job. A lot of guys want to run into the punter, but you see him just extend his hand. The block point is not at the kicker. It's out in front of him. 6'5". He's an outside linebacker for Virginia. They have a ton of length, and they use those guys in special teams. A ton of length, but I'm telling you, the discipline not to dive and run into the punter. From the red zone, Perkins looking for Reed. Into traffic and incomplete, but the penalty marker comes flying in. Perkins to Chris Sharp for the touchdown. And Virginia with an early blitz to take a two-score lead in the first. Position and then a little bootleg. Easy throw for a touchdown for Bryce Perkins. Five-man rush. Pickett hit as he throws. Delivered into traffic for Aaron Matthews, and a penalty flag comes flying in. Oh. Blitz action from Virginia, and Jordan Mack, the senior, there with Eli Handback for the sack of Pickett. Confusion in the backfield. Back goes the wrong way. The protection's not set the proper direction. It's a bad feeling as a quarterback, let me tell you. When the back goes the wrong way and you turn around and you have two defenders run at you, there's nowhere to go. A Joe Moore Award semifinalist crew last year. That's for the top offensive line in the country. There's a solid run and a first down for A.J. Davis. Out to the 44-yard line. Okay. Huge loss. Now pit back to the tempo. To the sticks, looking for Matthews and too high. 
Blitz from the Panthers here. Perkins to Dubois, wide open. And a little shimmy and shake to get into pit territory. Hasis Dubois picks up 27 on the play. A blitz off his left side, which allows Dubois to get the ball in space. Really does a good job on math. That was me trying to get past Tim at the dessert line earlier tonight. <laughs> you failed. Miserably. Perkins goes down. There is Deslin Alexander, who has a big role to play. The injury to Rashad Weaver. They just get the snap off. Panthers bring pressure. Perkins underthrown ball, nearly intercepted by a diving Mathis. Good protection that time for Griffin. And a good high punt to prevent a return. Third down for Pittsburgh and Kenny Pickett. Quick pass to A.J. Davis. And a big play for the Panthers. A.J. Davis inside the 25. Finally caught up to by Joey Blunt. Gordon Mack to stop. You look at the big play to Davis. They're really running a drive concept. A shallow cross and a base across behind it. But then they wheel Davis, the running back, outside. Pitt really is a staple of what a Mark Whipple offense is going to look like. West Coast concepts, which that was there. Second down. Pick it. Maurice French. Chopped out of bounds, but it's first and goal for the Panthers. Seeing him work off the wristband. A.J. Davis slicing in for a Pittsburgh touchdown. They punch it in with a little bit of a, a, a zone read block. Good job of the guys up front. Bryce Hargrove get him in the end zone. About a decade and a half ago. Perkins with time. Launches into double coverage, and Terrell Chapman somehow snagged it out of the air. You see Chapman does a good job. He, it's almost like a double move, but he goes to the corner, and he just goes up and gets it. Two defenders there. He doesn't care. I said earlier, ball's in the air. doesn't matter what your route is. Go up and get the ball. Great job of tracking it. Well, I'll tell you what, I was more impressed with the throw. You see Perkins just standing in the pocket. Nothing happened. Perkins again, looking for Joe Reed this time. Penalty marker is thrown. Go Mendenhall 0-3 against Pitt since coming to Virginia. Quick throw to the outside. Grabbed by Terrell Janna, and he works past the line to gain for a first down. Panthers bringing some pressure. Back shoulder throw for Joe Reed, incomplete. Good coverage by Damari Mathis. And now Brian Delaney, who was good from 39, tries from 36. Very solid run for Delaney as a sophomore last year. Former basketball player, six foot seven, 235, back in coverage. Pickett, looking, incomplete. Nakia Griffin-Stewart. A fellow New Jersey native. Chuck Davis. Good field position here for Virginia out across the 40. A big day and a wild day in the ACC. Perkins keeps good patience. First down. Perkins stayed on his feet. No, they're going to rule him down. Jalen Twyman, redshirt sophomore wearing that famous Aaron Donald 97 was in the backfield to just get the ankle of Bryce. You see him just fight, restraints your steps as Bryce Perkins is unsure in the pocket. Sometimes it's just effort on defense. Here comes the rush. Looking for Chapman, incomplete. Under Armour All-American. Behind his fullback, Rashad Wheeler. Yeah, he picks up the first down. Pickett dumps it off for French. 
into Cavalier territory. Pushed out by Devontae Cross. A rushing touchdown and a kick return for a touchdown. There goes Sibley. He's got the first down. Pickett steps up in the pocket. And he's going to run into the red zone with a first down. And look at Kenny Pickett fired up. Important third down now. Plenty of time for Pickett. Needs the eight-yard line. And Kenny Pickett with another rush for a first down. Empty set. Kenny Pickett. End zone. Touchdown. Tie game. Trey tipped it on the catch. You see here, they go empty set, no backs in the backfield, just five offensive linemen. Tipton's going to work the leverage and then just snap out. And Pickett does a good job of just understanding the leverage of the defense. Just a quick stick route and great ball location, right at the belt buckle outside hip of the wide receiver with excellent timing. What a moment for Trey Tipton. Joe Reed from the one. A great kick returner. The fireworks continue to go up here in Pennsylvania, and the adrenaline only is rising right now here in Pittsburgh. You weren't going to try to, you know, use your timeout or, or get into a two-minute mode. Again, keep it conservative with Talapapa. And two good runs, but that'll take us to the end of the first half. Just a four-man twist. Perkins past the sticks. It is caught and hung on to by Jana. Big time play by Perkins. You see all the coverage. It's basically a deep Tampa 2 coverage. And so he's got to extend the play to let his receivers work, which is exactly what Jana does coming across the middle. Panthers bring a late blitz. Perkins gets away. There goes Bryce Perkins making magic with his feet. First big run for Bryce Perkins tonight. It's a perfect defensive play call. You bring Jason Pinnock on the pressure. He's unblocked. Bryce Perkins should be down for a sack. Instead, he's able to escape it and rips off a 27-yard run. On third down and eight. Perkins empties it out. Steps up. Launches for Reed. End zone. Incomplete. <laughs> Biggest try of the night for Brian Delaney, junior from Virginia. Rock solid, and Virginia jumps back out in front. Mac was so good on those big plays. Out rock intercepted. It's picked up by Matt Gam, the junior. The first interception of his career. Matt Gam, the outside linebacker to the left part of your screen. He just runs underneath it. You know, I think Kenny Pickett underestimates the ground that Gam is able to cover because he throws it right on rhythm. It's a little bit left inside, but it's a good job of Gam just running on, out underneath it. Perkins sees the opening. And he hustles his way close to the sticks and past. Looks like he has enough for the first down. Perkins, the cross, Dubois, reaches, touchdown, no! Well, they, we have one official on the far side saying touchdown. We have one official on the near side saying short. Cross does a good job of fighting through the tackle, reaching into the end zone for the touchdown. Interception responds with a touchdown pass. The four-man rush, pick it, another first down with his legs. Works his way out to the 50. Aaron Matthews trying to tell Maurice French to come to the bottom of the formation. Corner blitz again. Pickett somehow stays on his feet. Fighting for the yardage, trying to push the pile. This will depend on the forward progress, but what an effort by Kenny Pickett. If the replay booth decides to do so. Well, 
Pitt's offense is out on the field regardless, and I'm going to tell you, Kenny Pickett does a good job. We're not going to confuse him with Bryce Perkins. The previous play is under further review. But UVA brings a pressure that Pitt doesn't pick up, and Kenny Pickett just creates offense there. More pressure from Hall on the corner blitz. Well, he went airborne. Pickett fires to French. He gets drilled by Joey Blunt, but hangs on at the 30-yard line. Virginia bringing more pressure. Good effort to try to pick up the blitz by A.J. Davis, but he kind of just blocked Joey Blunt right into Kenny Pickett. And it brings up fourth down. Rotate him down. They're going to bring him. Davis is going to come over to try to block him, but he's not firm enough. And I actually think Kenny Pickett kind of panics a little bit and walks himself into that blitz. Sure. Kessman knows how to drill 50-yarders. Let's see if he can do it again. Had the leg as he often does, but missed it wide to the right. Exotic look from Pitt's defense. Perkins throws for Dubois as he tried to extend. The ball was stripped, but it rolls out of bounds. Paris Ford just ripped it out of there from Dubois. But it went out. Fourth down. And that's big. It's Dubois extended play. the ball, trying to get the first down. But because that ball was stripped by Ford and it went backwards out of bounds, you have to spot it where it went out of bounds. So that takes away a potential first down for Virginia. Great play by Paris Ford. It's a great play by Ford. Pittsburgh brought a defense, which meant Ford was out there in space all by himself. That's no slouch of a loss by any means. Let's not take anything away from a very good Boise State program. Good punt coverage. French knocked down by Nick Grant right away. They're living on a prayer or Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline won over. Malik Carter, the intended target, incomplete. Back to return, it's Chuck Davis. Fair catch at the 28-yard line. Perkins just took off. Not sure if it was designed or not, but he has enough for the first down. It's a four-man rush. Perkins off the back foot, looking for Chapman, and it's broken up by Mathis again. Maurice French back to return. Nash Griffin delivers. Good hang tie. Fair catch near the 10. Talks about third and three because yeah. they have a big one right Huge here. right now. Here comes that late pressure. Kenny Pickett spinning ahead. Snowden grabbed him, but the forward progress from the line judge has Pickett past the 20. Last year's pit offense in terms of receiving yards. Third down and six. Pickett into traffic again. This time Mack holds on, but it is about a yard or maybe a half yard shy of the line to gain. Pick it rolling. To the sideline for Tipton, and he makes the grab again. First down pit. The throw. He escapes outside the pocket as Snowden kind of comes inside. You see what I mean about that tight window? Yeah. Out of the eye this time, they give it to A.J. Davis. And he's caught up to by Matt Gamm, and now the penalty marker comes in late. One point leading the team in tackles. Here's another corner blitz for Virginia, and Bryce Hall wraps up Pickett. Fought through the block and picked up the sack. The fourth of his career. On the corner blitz, here he comes right there. Davis does a good job in pass protection. Kenny Pickett just kind of walks into the sack, though. That's the second time on a running back pass protection. Here's another Virginia blitz. Pickett scrambling, Pickett circling, and Joey Blunt brings him down back near midfield. Well, Pitt moving backwards after they set up shop. Pickett stepping up, firing, intercepted by Joey Blunt. Third pick of his career. I'm in the pocket, there's just a lot of bodies downfield. 
Blunt is right in the throwing lane. If he doesn't pick it, to be honest with you, I think there's a good chance that Bryce Hall ends up with the interception. Yeah, it looked like French was the intended target. He was surrounded by yeah, defenders. And that's classic running to your right, throwing back across the body towards the middle of the field. Now into the fourth. They have not been great for him. Here comes Talapapa, and he springs ahead for a first down. P.K. Kyer spinning ahead. First down, Virginia inside the 30 with five and a half to go. Perkins will hand it off to Talapapa. And Delaney unable to connect. We're down in six in a must-have spot for Pitt. Oh, Pickett's going to take a shot. He's got tipped in. Incomplete. Bryce Hall at the very last moment coming in. And then Kenny Pickett again. Landing onto the quarterback. Also putting him down on his right shoulder. Yeah, that easily could have been. There's Pickett on the move again. Todd Sibley. I don't know how much you want to challenge somebody like that. Perkins on the keep. And he's got the first down. So respected by his teammates that he was given the opportunity for number one selection for a jersey. He picked number 45. Taula Papa for the first time in his college career. He punches it in for a touchdown and puts an exclamation point on a Cavalier victory. 21 years of age puts it home. He's just running hard at him. But you see the guys blocking downfield. <laughs> that could potentially determine the Coastal Division. We'll see if that ends up being the case a few months from now. But tonight, the Virginia Cavaliers come on the road in week one. They win in Pittsburgh for the first time in program history.